Hi everyone, you are watching Gourmet Hyderabadi Foodie and today I am bringing you my first ever recipe. I am going to show you how to make sweet and sour orange chicken. This is an Indo-Chinese recipe and it goes well with Chinese fried rice. To begin, you will need the following ingredients. Boneless chicken breast, 5 to 6 large oranges for 4 cups of juice, 2 tablespoon orange zest, 1 fresh finger of ginger, 5 to 6 bunches of spring onions, 1 lemon freshly squeezed, 2 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 2 teaspoon corn flour, 1 teaspoon red chili powder, this is optional, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon sugar, and 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil. This can be corn oil or vegetable oil or whichever oil you prefer. To begin, you are going to juice um, your oranges making sure that the pulp is left behind. I happen to use 3 oranges which gave me 2 cups of juice so make sure you have 5 to 6 large oranges for 4 cups of juice. Also, do not use store-bought juice or tang as that will make your dish very sticky. I am going to collect the pulp and put it in a strainer to extract all of the juice that remains behind. You can discard the pulp. I also like my dish to be a bit sour so if your oranges aren't sour enough you can squeeze the juice of one lemon. Make sure you do not discard the peel of the orange. You will need this to prepare your zest. Carefully cut out the orange portion of the peel, discarding all the white portion. The white portion will make your dish bitter. Make sure that you have 2 tablespoons of zest finely chopped. Next, you are going to require sliced ginger. I like my ginger to be chunky but you can cut it to whatever size you like. You will also require ginger garlic paste. You can make this by using equal portions of ginger and garlic and grinding them in your grinder to a paste. You will require about 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. You will also require the green portion of spring onions. Make sure you do not discard the onion as you can use that in Chinese fried rice. Finally, you need your chicken. Make sure you cut them in equal sized cubes, discarding all the excess fat. Also, when you're cutting the chicken, keep your knife at an angle and cut slanted so that your chicken remains juicy and tender when cooking. In a large nonstick pan, heat 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, you can put your chicken in and start frying. Once the chicken has turned golden brown, you can add 2 teaspoons ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon salt, and sliced ginger. And make sure you mix well to let the juices assimilate into the dish. Next, save half of the orange juice and pour the remaining in the chicken. Let it come to a boil. And in the remaining half of the orange juice, add 2 teaspoon corn flour and mix well. This we will add in the end. The corn flour will make your dish shiny and thick. If your dish is not sour, add the lemon juice. Next, you will add the zest. Finally, you will add the onions and mix well. This is optional and you can add your red chili powder. Finally, you will add the sugar. In the end, you will add the corn flour mixture of the orange juice. Make, make sure it's not cornstarch. This will make your dish thick and glazy. Finally, once you have reached your required consistency, you could turn the stuff off. I served mine with vegetable fried rice. You can even opt for egg or chicken. Um, or even um, shrimp fried rice. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Bye bye.